What's up everybody? This is the Tumble Doctor and I am coming to you today with a back handspring skill review. Now before we hop into this video, I want to familiarize everybody with two terms. The first term, open shoulders. Say it, open shoulders. Beautiful, beautiful. The second term, closed shoulders. Say it. Excellent, excellent, okay. Open shoulders. Put your arms up in the air. Pull those arms back so you feel a stretch in your shoulders. Now look up at the ceiling. Make sure that your arms are still behind your ears. Open shoulders. In comparison, put your arms kind of like diagonal up to the ceiling. Now look up. Close shoulders. So again, we have open shoulders and we have closed shoulders. Awesome, let's hop in the video. All right, so we're gonna start this video with the young lady on the left and the old man there on the right. First thing that I would recommend as you swing down, see how you take this step right there with that right foot. I don't want you stepping as you go into your back handspring backwards or off to the side. I want you to start with your feet together. So that's the first part. Now, as we go back into this back handspring, we start to get to the point where we're talking about open shoulders versus closed shoulders. So you can see here, as both of us swing our arms up, You'll notice with my shoulders, I'm opening. Whereas my girl on the left here, her shoulders are closed. I like to tell people, you should see your arms disappear before your head goes back. So for my girl here, you can see her eyes are looking up. She can no longer see her arms. As we continue going back here, you'll see that my arms disappear from my view and then I tip my head back, which allows me to open my shoulders and cover my ears. See how my ears are covered? Whereas because her head is going in front of her arms, her ears are exposed. So this is closed shoulders versus open shoulders. As we proceed back, I want you to pay attention to the differences in shapes. See how my feet are coming up to the ceiling and how my girl's feet are going back towards her butt? We wanna ensure as your feet come off the ground, you're pushing hard through your toes so that we have straight legs. Now check out the angle of her shoulders as her hands land on the ground. You see that? Look at her body. Look at where her hips are in comparison to my shape. If we scoot forward just a little bit here, you can see that I'm hitting a handstand. See that? Whereas this position more so looks like she's doing handstand forward roll. We should be hitting a handstand position in the middle of our back handspring. That will allow us to have a long back handspring. Always remember a long back handspring is a strong back handspring. So see the distance between my hands and feet there? Whereas if we shift this over just a little bit, See the, see the pike down that's happening with my girl? See her distance between her hands and feet? We wanna make our back handsprings nice and long. Ideally, your back handspring is as long, if not longer, than you are tall. I'm a visual person, so I like different angles. Again, we're gonna watch this step as we go back. We're going to open our shoulders. We're not gonna close our shoulders and put our head back. We're gonna keep our head in and open our shoulders. You can see the difference there, right? As our feet come off the floor, we're gonna push hard through our toes so that our legs are straight. We don't wanna bend our knees and have our feet go back towards our bottom. We wanna get our toes up so that we can hit our handstand shape. We don't wanna be at an angle, we want to hit our handstand shape straight up and down. And you can see the difference in our shapes there. 
Opening our shoulders, hitting our handstand shape, will allow our back handspring to be long and strong. This is the Tumble Doctor. I hope you found this skill review helpful. Y'all know what time it is. Let us eat.